Hello and welcome to the webinar helping you overcome your sexual and relationship issues. In this webinar I'm going to be sharing three secrets. The three secrets are number one finding out the number one biggest and most important sexual organ in the body and it's not what you might think. Secret number two, my biggest hack that has helped all of my clients become their best sexual self. Secret number three, why most people have the wrong idea about what good satisfying sex is and how this leads to sexual problems. So why is it worth you sticking around for this webinar? So would it be worth it to you to find, understand and embrace your sexual pleasure? Learn how to master emotions. Start to take control of your own body and mind for sexual satisfaction. To be able to achieve more in the bedroom. This webinar is not for anyone who is happy to have their sexual problems continue and remain sexually unfulfilled for the rest of their lives. So what makes this webinar different? First of all, there is me. And I am Helen Birch, one of only a handful of accredited sexual freedom practitioners. I am an expert in sex and relationship therapy. I have been featured in various national media articles and outlets. I am an award finalist and nominee, a hand-picked agony aunt for a national magazine, Take a Break, and I have over 50,000 views on YouTube. Here are some reviews and testimonials from past clients who have undertaken therapy and sessions with myself and had the long lasting results that they desired. So my results are not typical. I will walk you through specific things during this webinar about how I work with clients and my expertise about helping overcome their sexual issues. My clients' results are certainly not typical and the average person who takes no action will get zero results. However, I'm happy to show you what I've helped my clients do. And this is not going to be the answer to your problems, but it will give you the insight you need to finally overcome your intimacy problems and sexual dysfunctions. So the type of clients I work with, those who are struggling to experience sexual fulfillment, people who are ready to overcome sexual difficulties and sexual shame, those who want lasting change over a deeper understanding of why they are the way they are, people who are ready to take responsibility for their sexual pleasure and sexual confidence, those who are willing to make peace with those things that are not in their control. So again, just sharing some more reviews and testimonials, all of which are positive five-star reviews with those clients achieving what they came to me for. So helping you overcome your sexual and relationship issues. Secret number one, the number one biggest and most important sexual organ in the body. So the number one biggest and most sexual organ in the body is the mind. So your mind is your most important erogenous zone. Your mind and brain are separate things. Your mind is the part of you that thinks, remembers, judges and learns things. It's your beliefs, your thoughts, your eroticism. It's the internal dialogue and words that you say to yourself. What you hold in your mind influences your libido. Where your mind goes, your body follows. And this can hinder or help your sexual pleasure or your desire to experience it. So if you think negative thoughts in your mind around sex, then your body is going to negatively react. Your mind is the most significant erogenous zone and the one that connects all of your senses. It can stimulate your body through thought alone. If you have negative thoughts about sexual pleasure, your body will react negatively. Secret number two, the biggest hack that has helped all of my clients become their best sexual self. So the biggest hack that all my clients make amazing progress with is being able to let go of sexual shame. To reclaim your sexual pleasure, you must let go of the shame and the guilt. 
Shame and guilt usually play major roles in sexual dysfunction. They are strong emotions that can exist in separation, but are often present together. Sometimes a personal sexual shame is so ingrained and feels so much part of their deepest self that they simply cannot imagine themselves without their shame. All sexual shame is learned. It comes from somewhere. You pick them up along the way and they can be embarrassing, confusing and even downright scary to look in yourself and face that sexual shame. But the good news is that the sexual shame was learned and if it can be learned, thankfully, then it can be unlearned. Secret number three, why most people have the wrong idea about what good satisfying sex is and how this leads to sexual problems. So the biggest misconception around sex, sexuality, intimacy and connection. And there is this huge myth that penile penetration is the goal of sex and it is becoming more and more prevalent as pornography becomes more and more the point of reference. And this is creating lots and lots of myths and misconceptions around sex, sexuality, intimacy and connection. It's also creating a very narrow definition of what sex is and what good sex is. So having an orgasm doesn't always mean that the sex was satisfying. Most people are unaware of that need for intimacy and connection for sexual satisfaction. People feel under pressure to perform and respond too quickly during sex. The focus becomes about being aroused enough to penetrate or be penetrated and then to orgasm. Intimacy and connection is lost and with it goes libido and confidence. If women have more intimacy during sex, then the likelihood is that they would want more sex and be more able to orgasm. Also, if a male allows himself to experience intimacy and connection during sex, then he becomes much more involved in the exchange of pleasure and much less concerned about his sexual performance, reducing his anxiety. So I'm just going to share a couple of client case studies. So client case study one is Zach. And Zach came to see me after experiencing symptoms similar to erectile dysfunction. He had been struggling for three years with worry, disappointment and avoidance during sex. Zach believed himself to be a failure. We discussed his relationship and he said that things changed when he discovered his partner had kissed another person. As much as he tried, he couldn't stop thinking about it. Now when he tries to have sex, it doesn't work as he can't get out of his own head. As a result, we explored these issues and Zach began to see the connection between his issues with erectile dysfunction and his own insecurities. We discovered the source of his own insecurities and it became clear that the kiss was not really the source of the issues but was a catalyst that re-triggered it. With time we worked through his issues and the improvements transformed the relationship and also stopped his erectile dysfunction. Zach's penis was reflecting his emotional conflict that he felt and once we were able to resolve that emotional conflict, Zach's penis returned to normal sexual function. Client case study B, Hannah. So Hannah visited me when she was concerned that there was something wrong with her. She was worried that she liked sex too much. During the consultation, she told me that she had been sexually abused as a child. Despite this, she had made a good life for herself as an adult with a good job and partner and felt that the sexual abuse had been resolved. However, this all changed a few months ago when a friend made a comment asking her how she could even consider having sex again after being sexually abused. She told Hannah that she shouldn't be enjoying sex at all after what had happened to her. Since that conversation, Hannah found herself feeling ashamed, full of doubt and worried that she was broken in some way. During the sessions, we did some work connecting her with her younger and future self, celebrating her connection with her body and the good ex sexual experiences that she had experienced. 
I watched as relief washed over her as she let go of that shame and she released that guilt. The fact that she could have a wonderful time sexually was something to be celebrated and not something to be shamed for. Hannah was able to re-embrace her sex life and sexual pleasure as she let go of the shame and guilt that she felt. Client case study C, Sam and Tony. So Sam and Tony came to see me when their sexual chemistry had declined. Sex had become routine, boring and satisfying. They couldn't find a way to remedy the solution. The emotional connection had waned and they no longer communicated with each other. Sam had also slipped into performance anxiety mindset and diminished his sense of self. Through the sessions, we re-established boundaries and consent with both partners. We built up the communicating so that both partners felt that they could communicate their sexual fantasies, desires and needs without judge or embarrassment. We also worked on giving permission for pleasure and receiving that pleasure in return. This re-established the intimacy and brought back excitement and novelty to their sex life. So let me ask you a question. Imagine this, waking up feeling totally relaxed and excited about sex, having the power to replace negative thought patterns, being replaced with positive beliefs, confidence and self-assurance, finding peace with those things that are not in your control and being in full command of those that are, letting go of all the shame and guilt feeling a sense of ease, inner confidence and enhanced sexual satisfaction, being in more control, experiencing heightened pleasure, increased confidence and enriched sexual intimacy. So during this webinar, I have shared three secrets with you. And would you agree that it's been time well spent so far? but I can't cover everything in such a short webinar. As you know, it would take me much longer to show you how to have greater control of your life, but hopefully this has been a good insight into what's possible. But you can get everything you need to know. I offer a free consultation call. So what is a consultation call? A consultation call is a free call with me personally, where I will find out what is happening in your life, how your problem is affecting you, and seeing if I'm the right fit to help with your problem. We will take a deep dive into your problem and I'll personally design a plan to help you overcome your problems and meet your desired goals. Having your consultation call with me will be the most important step for you to finally overcome your problems, unwanted behaviours and regain control of your health, your life and your own sexual pleasure. So I have been featured in various blogs, webinars, I have presented to different businesses as well as being a featured expert in a national magazine, online articles and also a recurring expert in the Irish Times. So book your consultation call now and fill in the survey. So who is this consultation call for? It's for those who are motivated and ready to finally take control of their mind, body and sexual pleasure. For those who are committed to the change, for those who can follow instructions and have a desire to make a change in their life. Who is this consultation call not for? It is not for someone who is still looking around and not ready to commit. Not for someone who is not ready to invest their time and money into themselves to change their sex lives that can create huge results for long-term pleasure and happiness. Someone who is just looking for something to do, someone who complains a lot and has a poor attitude, and someone who is not willing to put in the work to make the change they desire. As I have a busy clinic, I have a limited number of consultation calls that I can make in a month. Once these spots have been filled, I will not be able to undertake any more consultation calls that month. So don't hesitate. If you feel like you are ready to take back control of your life, body and mind, then book your call, follow the link and fill in the survey. So you can book your consultation call now, fill in the survey using the link below. 
Thank you very much for watching. I hope that you have enjoyed this webinar and found it insightful. Don't forget to book your consultation call. Goodbye for now.